In this video, we'll start exploring the layouts in Edge. So layouts is basically a way to define a master layout for your entire website. Then on every different page, you can basically override the selected sections. Let's get started with it. So what I've done out here is I basically created a very simple bootstrap page, which has a header, a sidebar, and a body section. And for now, I have basically kept everything inside our welcome template. So what we're going to do right now is basically we're going to create a master layout for our welcome page. So I'm going to say resources, views, master.edge, and then basically copy, paste everything here, and remove it from our welcome file. The next thing we need to do is we basically need to de define the layout. And something to keep in mind, the layout uh, definition needs to be the very first line inside your template, otherwise it will not work. So we're going to say uh, add the right layout master, refresh, yep, the output is still the same because we are basically uh, taking everything from this template and dumping it out here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is within our master uh, file, we're going to expose some sections that should be overridden from basically the parent template. So for the header, let it be the way it is because we want a consistent header. Uh, let's say we want the sidebar to be overridden by anyone. So we can say section, uh, give it a name. So I'm going to say sidebar at the right end section and put it out here. And I don't know what's the problem with Sublime. It always picked the extension as Twike. So I'm going to change it to uh, edge out here. Yep, we do get syntax highlighting. So what we have done right now is we have basically created a section, put H3 inside it. And for the body, we're going to say section, uh, body, and section. Uh, let's keep the H3 out here. If we come back, refresh, yep, it's still the same. So uh, what really happens whenever we define a section tag, it's basically exposed to be overridden. But also we can keep any default content inside it, which means if you're not going to override the section, the default content will be displayed. So let's say if we come here and we say section uh, body, and basically end the section and out here, let's say a P tag, which says a body from welcome file, refresh, yep, we do see it has been overridden. Now for the sidebar, let's say we don't want to override it. We basically want to append to it, right? Like we have a title which says sidebar, but we can basically put a menu to it and we just want to retain uh, the H3. So what we're going to do is let's copy it, come back here, change the section name to sidebar, create a UL LI with an A that says uh, nav item one, do a refresh. Oh, we actually lost the H3, but we want to retain it, right? So what we can do is we can make use of the add the right super keyword, which basically means inherit the existing content and then basically append it. So go back. Yep, we do get it back. Now for the body section, we actually don't want to have any default body for any page. We want people to basically define this section and put their own, own basically body. So I'm going to remove this. And if you remember, we can basically self-close any block level tag. So come back. Yep, it, did, it does work. Yeah, so that's very much all from the layouts. In the next video, we're going to start exploring components and they're really interesting.